I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question based on Venn diagram. The question here is, in a class of 30 students, 17 are studying politics, 14 are studying economics, and 10 are studying both of the subjects. Illustrate this using a Venn diagram. Find number of students studying neither of these subjects. Find the number of students studying exactly one subject. So let's first create the Venn diagram. There are 30 students in all. So in our set, we have, let's call the super set S as with 30 students, right? 15 students, 17 are studying pol politics and 14 are studying economics. 10 are studying both. So basically, we need to consider two sets here. One set for students who are studying politics. The other one, the students which are doing economics right so these are the two sets for us so let me call this set P for politics and E for economics now whenever we are given like this we have to start from inside so what is common to both so it is given 14 are studying economics and 10 are studying both the subjects so common is 10 Correct? So that is both the subjects. So, so the intersection of politics and economics is given to us as 10. Right? Now, total number of students studying politics is 14. 10 we have already taken here, right? So those who are studying only politics should be how many? It should be 4, right? Then only you get 4 plus 10 as 14. I hope that part is clear right so 4 plus 10 becomes 14 right so that will give you the answer for or distribution of politics so 10 of these are doing both the subjects 17 are studying oh, sorry sorry uh, i wrote, read it wrong 17 are studying politics so this will be politics will be 7 17 are studying politics 14 are studying economics so 4 will come on economics side is that clear to you so, so that is how you are going to show the information on a Venn diagram. Now we can answer all the questions. So first part is done for us. The Venn diagram is right there, right? So question here is, find the number of students studying neither of these subjects. How do you figure that out? Now, the students who are studying either of these subjects will be how many? Let's add them all, right? So number of students who are studying both politics, I mean, or, or economics, is basically equal to sum of these, which is 7 plus 10 plus 4. So 11 and 10, 21, right? So this is all the subjects. But we have in all 30 students. The question here is find number of students studying neither, right? So that would be 30 minus 21. So that gives you the answer for students who are not studying any of these subjects, which is 9, correct? So for B, we have 9 students, correct? That is outside. The total was 30 for us. So if you add them, now you get 30, right? Find the number of study, students studying exactly one subject. So only politics and only economics is 7 and 4. So the answer is 7 plus 4, which is 11, correct? So that is how you would actually answer this. Another way to do this will be total number of sub students who are doing politics plus number of students who are doing economics take away their intersection, right? So that will give you the da answer directly without even looking at the Venn diagram, correct? So if you fill in the values, which you know is 17 plus 14 minus 10, you will get your answer, 21 minus 10 as 11. Perfect. So that is how you will do even without looking at the Venn diagram. Does it make sense to you, right? So we have used the principle of inclusion and exclusion. So this 10 is included twice, so it has to be excluded. So I hope that... Uh, makes the concept absolutely clear for such questions. 
Watch my videos on Venn diagram. I have a wide variety of them and we'll take a few where we will have three sets concerned, right? Thanks a lot for watching and all the best.